that defense does the job behind him. Pitch number one of inning number one. Ethan Walker bounces it to short, charging Bastine, throws him out at first. One pitch and one out. The fastball change up, see what he comes with here. 2-2, two, two. got him swinging. Looked like he went back to it for yep. strike three. Now a two-out walk to Lane as Carter throws one down and away for ball four. Trying to finish off this first inning. Carter to the plate. Ooh. It got him on the helmet. Let's see if he comes back with the heat. Payoff in the dirt, bases loaded. Carter's one-two pitch, skips off the mound and gets up the middle for a base hit. North Alabama striking first. A two-out, two-RBI single by Jackson Ferrigno to make it 2 nothing. That's in a 2-43. Fly ball center field, chases Bradfield back into the sunshine, makes the catch to retire the side. The missed his spot, was supposed to hit outside, but does the job nonetheless. Bouncer up the middle, knocked down by the shortstop, but can't make a play for Rigno. Parrish, a long look in, pitches ball four to Diaz. Vanderbilt has his first two on base with R.J. Schreck coming up. You know how much attention he's paying to Bradfield, just trying to keep him close, and that's what happens. Well, the pickoff attempt was wide. Throw goes into center field, and Bradfield able to easily get to third on the throwing error. Fly ball center field, McIntyre. Pretty short uh, center field, we'll see what happens. Bradfield tags, he's gonna come to the plate without a throw, and Vanderbilt is on the board. Cuts the lead in half to make it two to one. RBI for Shrek on the sack fly, number 37. And we'll take a look at that particular play. Austin sends a fly ball to left center field, McIntyre under it to make the catch, and Vanderbilt's done in the first inning. On the fastball, it really mixes up his pitch as well, and they know they can trust him with the strikes. Came back with a fastball at 90 and strikes out McIntyre. One gone in the second. I don't know if I saw a knuckle curve earlier. Payoff, called third strike. 11 of in one game. Left side, base hit, Noland. Takes a 2-2 pitch the other way, and the Commodores have the leadoff man on here in the second. Squads that have spent time inside the top 10 this season. Right side, back-to-back, -back, opposite field base hits as Matthew Polk sends the first pitch he sees to right field, trying to get an extra base, and he does. Ball gets loose from the shortstop for Rigno. They might have had a play instead at second and third with nobody out. A 2-1 game here in the second. Vastine backhanded by the first baseman. He'll get it to the pitcher covering, but the tying run scores as Nolan comes home. RBI bounce out by Vastine. We're even at two. A lot of power for this guy, Alan Espinall, the Commodore catcher tonight. Rocket, deep left center field, and bounces up against the fence. Polk can walk home. It's a double for Espinall as he smashes the first pitch he sees, and Vanderbilt's in front three to two. He's able to knock down, but couldn't make a play in the dirt. Digging for third, Espinall gets there easily without a throw. 3-1 pitch to Bradfield's ball four. Definitely a, a tough, tough position if you're a right-handed hitter. Bradfield on the move. The pitcher cut off the throw from the catcher, and Enrique has a stolen base. Makes him 24 of 28. Payoff to Diaz. Right center and deep for Lane. Now comes in a few steps to make the catch. Espinal tags from third. Bradfield does the same for second. Commodores get the run home and the sack fly by Diaz to take a 4-2 lead. I think a lot of it has to do with, with the player themselves. Reliever Bowerman. Runner from first go, served out towards center field, will drop in front of McIntyre. Bradfield scores easily. RJ, or RJ Shrek, I should say, goes first to third. It's an RBI single for Chris Maldonado, and that makes it five to two. A four run second inning for Maldonado, RBI number 20. It's back to back freshman in the order, have just been outstanding. Shoots this one to deep left center field, but it'll stay in the park for McIntyre. Makes a catch. Saw J.D. Thompson take over in the second. Austin sees it hit off his glove. He got to it. Would have had a play. Down the left field line. Polk giving chase. Can't get there. Ball bounces in front of him. Lane goes first to third on a two-out double by Knight. You got two outs, so you don't want to do it too, too crazy. Devastani short should end the inning as Ferrigno bounces out. Can't do the damage he did back in the first inning. 
elevates that RPI a little bit. Base hit run scored for Parker Nolan. Hammers one out to center field to start off the third with a line drive single. The, the games, you need a guy to come in and provide some good offense. Espinal is probably that guy. Runner going. Fastine slides in safely. Manufacturing some runs. Payoff. Ball four. They'll flip the lineup over again and get back to Enrique Bradfield. 1-1 one, one count. I think they got him on the foot. See if they cut him loose, it's loose. If it's close, it's ball four, and that brings in a run. Diaz walks on four pitches. The Commodores tack one on. That makes it 6-2 to two as Vastine taps the plate. Put your mind back right in that strike zone. Ball four to R.J. Shrek. Another walk brings in another run. It makes it 7-2 to two as Espinal comes down to score. Needs a strike, can't get it. That's ball four. Three straight bases loaded walks. Vanderbilt keeps tacking him on as Bradfield scores his third run of the night. Payoff number two, clutch to Austin. High fly ball, right field, Lane. With back now comes in toward the line, makes the catch. Two and two, got him that time. Swung on and missed. Breaking ball working well for the freshman David Horn. He fans Walker to leave a man in scoring position. Eight to two, Commodores. It'll be interesting to see if Carter Holton makes his start on Friday night. They mm -hmm. rested him last week against Missouri. It sounded like too much cause for alarm, just uh, some soreness. They decided to hold him back for a start. Parker Noland is three for three as he lines a single to center to begin the fourth. Up close to the plate and ready for a 3-2 pitch. Other way and through, base hit. Nolan turns second, digs for third. Wide turn at first by Polk. He'll put on the brakes. Runners at the corners and nobody out. Runner on the move. High throw and Polk is safe at second with a stolen base. Two and two to Vastine with two in scoring position. High fly ball to center field. We'll see if this will get Nolan home from third as McIntyre measures and catches. Parker going to make it without a throw. A third sacrifice fly for Vanderbilt tonight. This time it's Vastine as he drives in his second run of the evening. That makes it nine to two. Polk at second with one out to the shortstop. The play is in front of them. They go to third to cut down Polk. You know, enemies on that side. They were actually with him on the team, so he was learning from them a lot. And he said, That helps me in my game. I just sit back and watch sometimes and observe. And luckily, they were my teammates at the time, of course, when it comes to SEC playtime. A coach with Ole Miss head coach and coach Mike Bianco, and the ability to, to learn from, from guys that might just do it a little bit differently to play the game you love, but to travel and experience new, new experiences. Diaz went with that breaking pitch, hit it to right field. That's gonna bring in two more as Espinal at Bradfield score easily. Vanderbilt continues to add to its lead, more two out damage, that makes it 11 to two. Takes ball four, long at bat, 10 pitches, multiple payoff pitches, and Shrek heads down to first with his third walk of the night. Very well beyond his years for a freshman. Long drive, right field, Lane over toward the corner, has a play and gets to it to retire the side. Vanderbilt sends eight men to the plate here in the fourth. Good curveball change up. Good looking slider right there. Boy went down and in with that breaking pitch. He strikes out Fry to begin the fifth. High ball four to Austin. Works a walk on a payoff pitch. A one-two count to Nolan, trying to retire him for the first time. I don't think so. Four-hit night for Parker. Austin on the move. Tim Corbin's going to wave him to the plate. The throw home. Austin is safe. He beat it. Got there ahead of the tag by Jensen. Comes all the way around to score from first to make it 12-2. to two. RBI double for Parker Nolan, having himself a night. That ball is perfectly placed right down the left field line, and R.J. Austin gets on his horse. Tim Corbin, a heck of a job, reads this play in the corner, and is able to tell Austin, hey, get on your horse, let's, let's try and get this thing home. And a nice slide by Austin, getting that left hand right on the back part of the plate. 
right before that tag from Jensen, the catcher. See who would come in as the defensive replacement late in the game. Big bouncer opposite way. Close play at first. Safe. He would able to beat it out. Hudson was playing up the middle. Two on base. Nobody out. And a run in here in the fifth. Toward the gap in left center field. Vastine sees this one bounce up against the fence. No one scores easily. Hewitt coming to the plate. Two more on the board on a double by Vastine. 14 to two. Opposite way, but right into the glove of Machado at first. He'll tap the bag and end the inning. Top 10 right-hander in the state of Tennessee out of high school. Ring him up. Landed that breaking pitch for strike three. Two gone. Swing and a miss. Colton Regents debut is a successful one. Strands a base runner, two strikeouts. Fan build up 14 to two in frame number six. We will be with you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Looking forward to a top 10 matchup. Vanderbilt hosting South Carolina this weekend. Swing and a miss. Espinal completes the strikeout, one gone. Missed outside. Swung on and missed. Commodores wrap it up. 14 to two over North Alabama.